Always remember, never work without this. At no given time, never forget this. It's very important to protect your eye from all sorts of different things that may fly up from the chop saw blade or doing grinding or whatsoever. Never work without this. One of these get yourself one of these even though none of them does not last long because them have a way of scratching on the front here but if you have one it's good for you to have it whether the high glass type or the goggles okay Good morning to all my viewers and subscribers, all of us Metal Fabrications. First and foremost, I must say big up to Famous Eyes Vlogs. You can go and look up his channel, check it out. He has some good content, you know, about himself, which is well, more importantly about himself because he's, he has been going through some medical conditions for over the years with his eyes. And I guess um, he had lost his vision. And, and, and come back not maybe a hundred percent but you know maybe can glimpse also so you can just go and check him out you understand you know good youth know him for over the years you know and um he's putting out some good videos out there so i just want you folks to go and check it out and, and, and you know, and if you're lucky, you might catch him on his live. You can correspond with him, ask him any questions you wish, you know. Okay, thank you. Back to my thing now. This protection glasses or protected glasses or whatever. Um, <laughs> I pay like five hundred dollars, five hundred Jamaican dollars for this, which is like three dollars, three dollars and twenty-five cent. Mhm. Mm and um, it's not the face of it, easy to scratch up. Without the least expect it. You notice the whole year, so all of them two years, and two years a year, I scratch up. And you can't see your tight properly. You can't even see the mark you make on the material that you're gonna cut. So I guess you have to pamper them. You know, as you use them, you put them back into a case or you put them somewhere safe. Um, a, a few weeks ago, I was cutting a piece of metal and it's a metal flying to the eye. I went to the doctor because I realized that I can't get it out. By putting it into a bucket of water or a basin of water, or whatever, by you doing that, it can come out. But the metal fly off and it cutting this and it is hot. So when it gets in the eye, it sticks onto the eyeball. And that is that could be very serious and, and bearable and uncomfortable for your eyes because your eyes are very sensitive enough you know could have been small 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 obstacles your eyelid detect it because your eyelid indicates to you that it, something is there even when you cannot see it properly with your naked eyes or look into a mirror so you have to see the doctor you understand so these things it's good to have a lot of them around you because the face of them scratch up quite easily 
and thing. So I'm just saying that all workshop must have a few of these, whether for yourself or for your workmen that work around you or with you. You know, it's good to have. When you put it on like this, sometimes you do like this when I finish cut. You do like this when you finish cut the material. And um, you're so deep into your job, you just want to finish it. So sometimes you get carried away doing it, and by you start to cut, is either one you remember, so you ease up off of the machine, put it on, or you'll be cutting and cutting and cutting till when you finish cut. You need to realize that the writer so it does come like this, you know. But as I said to you, every workman must have it. It's good to protect your eye. Even the other day when I bought this glass, something get underneath here and go into this eye as well. So, I know I have to really have something comfortable that will protect my eye, but if you know it, it come underneath here and go up and go into the eye, <laughs> I'm shocked. You know, from my youth I grow, I always observe. Whenever time you're doing something, like whether you're gonna chip a piece of wood or you're gonna take a hammer to drive a nail or something, anytime an obstacle flies, it always aim for your eyes. Always. It not aim for your chest, your neck, or anywhere but your eyes. And I always wonder why. It's just seem like carpenter. When a carpenter have um like cut a piece of board with a nail in it and then throw it down, the board 99% of the time turn over with the nail point sticking up in the ear like a chop. And can you imagine if coming down the ladder now because you might be working above? and coming down the ladder and step right on that nail there without you even notice say you throw down the board and the nail turn up you understand? so we as workmen have, uh, uh, has to be careful careful of what we're doing look out for ourselves Look out for others if you have other people working alongside with you as well. Um, safety comes first. In everywhere you go. Okay? Safety comes first above everything. So if you cannot protect yourself, you cannot protect no one else around you. Sometimes you will have workmen that will tell you why. You miserably man are you, he doesn't even know you're trying to protect him as well. It's not about being um, miserable, but it's to be careful and very careful in whatever you do. In and around the workshop or anywhere else you go to work, outdoor. All right? But as I mentioned, the eyes, you have to protect the eyes them. Because if them gone or shut down on you, all time people say that they have supper. Because without your eyesight, you can't what you ever do. You can't do nothing. You understand? So I want to have to protect the eyes them. You know? Protect the eyes them. A friend of mine would say, Why, Oliver? I read that my privacy gone, you know, that my eyes, you know, <laughs> and I laugh <laughs> because I can understand. I can understand why he said that, you know. <laughs> so he prefers his eyes than his private ears. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ah, uh, boy, it's just a joke, you know. But anyway, um, 
<laughs> yes, the glasses, the protection here, protected glasses, it's good to have. Because since I've been wearing it, I don't know how much other in, um, things fly here and lick it here and bounce off and things that I can't see. You know? Because I have to cut metal. I have to do that. I have to use my cut off saw blade machine to cut. I have to grind. I have to sand down this, rub down that. So it is good to have. Next thing I must say, a friend of mine gave me this one. Here. So pretty. Shocking color, orange. You know, bossy, don't it? But it, it, it only bossy, you know. But um, it doesn't carry any ear wool on it. I don't see any. This is like a goggles to dive in. Something near that. Based on how it, 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 it has been constructed. You know, with these rubbers. Shocking color rubbers. You know. So, um, it's good. In most sense, yes, to have something like this. But as I said, here, easily to be scratched. Easy, without to even notice. Least thing touch it is scratch. So I have to put up this one safe and pump it, you know. Um, as I said, it doesn't carry any ear holes, so it can breathe like ear come in. I put it on my face last um, half an hour ago before this video, and I can feel the sweat around here sweat you know from my pores start to develop here and around so me understand say well this is something that can be smeared up inside based on how long you have it onto your face but as I said it is good to protect your eyes it is good to protect your eyes and this video it's about protect protecting protecting your eyes from flying obstacles, from your cut off saw blade, your grinder, etc. etc. So, um, to all my YouTubers out there, to all workmen out there in the world, this is important to have. Even though they don't last long because they're easily scratch up. I bought this glass about four days ago right now. I can see where it's scratched here, you know, and these things will prevent you from not seeing well through it, especially when you mark a piece of iron to cut. It's either you have to be doing like this to see where the cut is and then do like this and then cut. All right. So I just want you folks to acknowledge that safety is the key and thing as I mentioned before with the nail and the board we know that spiritual force exists spiritual force exists and it could be negative force or positive force but something is there because why things keep aiming for your eyes why your eyes nothing nowhere else but your eyes all the while I've noticed in it from a youth I grow everything aim for your eye if you throw down a piece of board, it turn up with a nail up in the ear instead of turning down. Very few times you'd see a board like that. When you throw it down, it just turn down and the nail. The nail turn up in the ear for you to step on it or for someone to be passing and step on it. And you know the part they go a doctor bill and swell up foot that and you know injection and a whole heap of things, right there so. While some Jamaican would a nail would run up into some Jamaican foot. Them nobody talk about doctor. Them doctor it themselves. With 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 cursing island, green banana. And ban it. Ban the foot. And the cursing island green banana will, will, will pull up. Pull what is inside 
that wool yeah it work it work so i'm saying um it's good to have something like this or have this glasses here glass here to protect your eyes from anything that flies even when you're riding a motorcycle it's good to have one of these or have this one because sometimes you, you ride on a motorcycle without this or without an helmet which is totally wrong these days to ride without an helmet but we all do it at times and sometimes even a fly fly into your eye something will fly some insects some type of insects or something just flying in your way and catching your eye so it's good to have something like this or this glass here you can get these in dark a more dark shade a darker shade to buy as well mm -hmm. and as i said i pay um 500 jamaican dollar for this which is three dollar and 25 cent in us dollar yeah mm -hmm. so as i'm saying it's important to have next thing it's important to wear hard boot well i'm not really wear hard boot into my shop really you know because i always try to be careful and i always sweep out sweep out my shop regularly very regular because i love to work into a clean environment you know over there so now you know it's a different thing but in here so my shop have to be clean so you know sometimes i just want to wear something light on my feet i can move around swiftly you know but as time goes by we'll upgrade it and upgrade many, many upgrade many other things as well in this workshop okay so to all my viewers and subscribers who find this video interested can like subscribe and share like and um for newcomers can subscribe to my channel so that whenever time i shoot a video make a video and post it you'll get it on your phone the phone will notify you that um Oliver's Grill Works has posted a new video. Okay, so don't forget, press the notification bell and subscribe to my channel if you are new on this platform or on my channel. You know, so just want to say peace to each and every one and big up to all YouTubers around the world as well. Oliver's Metal Fabrication is a young channel, small channel, but my intention is to grow it. You know, my intention is to grow it. I've been thinking to also prepare food on it as well. Because sometimes you have to do some things to find the right niche. You know, things that people will gravitate to. I analyze that um, burglar um sorry um barbecue grill draw a lot of attention so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start um preparing meat like chicken pork um frankfurters and arms and stuff like that on my grills whenever time i build them and before them before the customer get it but first and foremost, I'm gonna contact with my customers first if they'll agree with me to use it before them. You know, because I just want to show my YouTubers or my viewers, everybody out there, how well it cook on and stuff like that. Okay? So thanks for watching. Keep safe. God is love.